So the role of uh, UNODC Corruption and Economic Crime Branch is to provide tailored technical assistance to states in support of the implementation of the UN Convention Against Corruption uh, and of relevant mandates uh, connected to economic fraud uh, and identity related crime. So this assistance includes uh, legislative drafting, uh, national policy and strategy guidance, technical training uh, and other capacity building activities. Uh, we also publish a wide range of material concerning corruption and how to address it uh, in developing jurisdictions uh, and beyond. Uh, and importantly, uh, as the Secretariat to the UN Convention, uh, UNODC also has a normative role in setting international priorities uh, through the Conference of State Parties uh, and other bodies created further to the Convention's acceptance in 2003. Uh, we also administer the implementation review mechanism, uh, of which Kenya is part and parcel. Now, the context of this is that each year, according to the OECD, an estimated 9.5 trillion US dollars is spent on public sector contracts and large public investment projects. And it's estimated that up to 10% of the total cost of doing business globally and up to 25% of the cost of procurement contracts in developing countries is attributable to corruption. Now, these are extraordinary figures. Uh, and the, the, the imperative to tackle them uh, is great. The World Bank estimates that businesses and individuals pay 1.5 trillion US dollars every year in bribes, which corresponds to a staggering 2% of global GDP. Now, blockchain could add critical value to public contracting up to the delivery of the goods and the services point by locking in critical information at every step of the procurement chain that could be monitored, tracked and audited. So government buying is an essential precondition for any successful anti-corruption project, whatever shape it may take. There is also the need for supportive laws and regulations that complement these anti-corruption efforts, such as in the area of uh, whistleblowing, which is something that UNODC is also working on at the moment. Currently, Kenya has no whistleblowing law, although we're trying hard to remedy that. And the effectiveness of using these new technologies is also highly dependent on user-friendly design and taking citizens' perspectives into account. And of course, universal ICT access, which remains an issue in certain rural and less developed areas of Kenya. Uh, and so this is where the support of the private sector will be important. All of this reinforces the importance of partnerships to ensure the success of the use of technology in the fight against corruption. So we encourage everyone listening today to think about how we might better develop those partnerships in the knowledge that we'll be better armed in the fight against corruption when we act together.